Hello and welcome to another 5 minute drawing lesson. If you look through my old Ardman sketchbooks, you'll see that the pages are mostly full of tiny little thumbnail drawings. And that's because part of my job as a director was to design the characters for the for the adverts or the short films, whatever it was that we were working on. And the, there was often quite a sort of tight deadline for these things. So I had to arrive at a design, an idea for a design quite quickly. I usually had a half a day or a day to, to work out what we were going to do. And the quickest way to do that was just to, to draw thumbnail drawings. So very quick, small sketches, uh, which you could bash out very quickly. Um, and that design process works really well for, for any subject. It doesn't have to be funny characters. It will work just as well for anything else. So here I'm doing vintage cars. And as you can see, the first car I drew there took about 30 seconds. And I'm, I'm just thinking about the basic proportions, really. I'm just putting two circles down for the wheels, deciding on the wheelbase length, and then putting blocks on top and deciding are they going to be long or short or tall. or um, And then a few other little details like um, the exhausts and whether bits poke out underneath or whether they're chain driven. But really nothing to do, nothing smaller than that is really just thinking about the basic proportions. And you can see there's another 30 seconds and another car done. And I can move on to the next one. So with this one, I've moved the wheels a bit closer together. And I've done a much taller radiator and a short sort of wasp tail. And it's starting to look quite familiar, actually. There's a, two exhausts on the side and it looks like a beast of Turin with a chain drive. So another 30 seconds and another car done. And we can move on to the next one. So you can see I'm not... I'm not being precious. I'm not. This isn't about making beautiful drawings. This is really about it's problem solving. So you're just trying to get down as many ideas as possible, and to vary the ideas as quickly as much as possible as well. So that every time you draw another one, you change something that you, you know, add a new thing or take a th something away or change the proportions of something, so that you end up somewhere different. Because the temptation is always to stick with your first idea. So if somebody asks you to de design a an old car for them. You sit down and you draw one very tidily and you say, here you go, there it is. But your first idea is often the first idea that everybody else has as well. So that's not typically the, the most original one. And it's only when you've sort of gone through 10 or 20 or maybe 30 different ideas that you really arrive somewhere um, that's quite original and that nobody else would have thought of. That's the idea. So, um, so it's, it's, it's a worthwhile process and it do, it shouldn't take very long. So this, this page of little thumbnails took about 12 minutes. Um, and I've, I've drawn a lot of old cars, so it might take you a little bit longer, but it shouldn't take much longer just to, because you're all, all you're really doing is drawing a couple of circles and putting some boxes and triangles on top and playing around with the proportions of those. So it's not something that's going to take you a lot of time. So I'd say that, you know, if you've got, out of a whole day of if you've got to design a character in a day you can definitely spend half an hour just bashing through some thumbnails to to see where that takes you even if it's a bit of a non-starter one of them is going to be okay i should think so that's the that's the nicest part of the process is is at the end when you've got a big page full of loads of loads and loads of ideas you can sit back with a cup of tea and have a look at them all and think ah oh, which you know, which one of these jumps out at me is the one I'd like to sort of refine and make perfect? Or which combinations of these? Maybe I like the front part of this, but the tail of this one, or the proportions of this. So you can just sort of pick and choose, and you've got all of these ideas in front of you, rather than just trying to pluck them out of your head. It's definitely a, a really useful thing to do. So have a go at it the next time you're asked to design something, whatever it might be. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments how you get on. And yeah, do let me know generally if you're finding these films interesting. It's always nice to see your sketches and comments at the end of the videos on Facebook and YouTube and stuff. So yeah, have a great week. Let me know how you get on and sign up and subscribe and all that stuff. And I'll see you for another one soon.